Hello, adventurers! Welcome to FK Arena Patch 1.103 Highlights video. I'm Sunny, and this is Asha. Hello, adventurers! It's Asha here. So in this patch, we'll have the new test season for the hunting field, the new beats, the new hero, and events and feedback. And Thanksgiving is coming. We also have prepared a lot of great rewards for you. Thanks so much for the introduction. So let's go and check the details right now. Let's go. The new test season of the hunting field is also in this patch. In this season, the boss will be Ajax. He used to be the god of hunting and the founder of the hunting field. And the conflict between guarding the hunter and the prey made him lose himself and was punished by the celestials who locked him here. So in this season, he will be back and invite adventurers to shut down the hunting field. This time, Ajax will have a new battle skill and a new map. Enjoy challenging the boss in the hunting field. The new hero Salaki is from the Mother faction. He is the guardian of the curse that has the potential to threat his traps. Gradually, he is infected by the curse and struggles when it outbreaks. When Salaki has a clear mind, he is calm, mature, and responsible for the things he takes. And also, he is passionate in teaching the kids. But when the curse takes his mind away, he will do crazy stuff and murmur something unknown. He is called Curse Bear, which means he is a mysterious mage of the Molars and hardly gets in touch with the outside world. As an intelligence-based support hero, he can release the withering winds and decrease the damage Elias suffer and debuff enemies on the battlefield. When he survives, the direct damage Elias suffer can be delayed for a certain percentage. He can buff the leech and haste abilities of Elias with his ultimate. Upon entering a battle, Salaki casts a spell that unleashes withering winds that last for 30 seconds. While withering winds are in effect, all allied heroes take a deal less damage. This effect will diminish over time. While using the skill, Salaki is immune to control. If he dies, Withering Winds will disappear after 5 seconds. And also, during the battle, Salaki can grant a shield to the allied hero with the lowest health percentage and terrifies the latest enemy who has attacked an ally for 2.5 seconds. Salaki's ultimate skill makes him sacrifice a certain amount of his health to increase the life leech and haste off all allied heroes within 8 seconds. As for his passive, when Salaki is alive, 25% of the direct damage received by allies will take effect in the form of loss of health every 1 second over the next 5 seconds. When using the skill, actively, Salaki assembles a dark flame and attacks the enemy who has dealt the most damage, inflicting damage on the target and all enemies in the path of the flame. Belle Below from the furry species come in this patch. Wow, furry, she must be super fluffy. Her blue, gentle and mysterious eyes and white flowers blooming on her antlers make me feel hopeful and vibrant. Yes, she is. She always sends her blessings to the wake heroes, which can cure their pain gently. And besides, the path she passed by constantly revive from Baron. Bell Below's initial skill heals all allies and generates a trail of life in the area most concentrated with allied heroes. Healing received by all allies on the trail of life is increased. When an allied hero is healed by another hero, Bell Below gains extra beast energy points. And for her level 6 skill, at regular intervals, Bell Below runs to the allied hero with the lowest health percentage and restores their health while also generating a trail of life. And her level 12 skills helps any access healing that is granted to all allies on the trail of life by Bell Below to be stored. This trail of life will heal allies in its range for their lost health continuously until it disappears or is exhausted. As for her level 18 skill, when Bell Below unleashes Healing Bloom, all trails of life will be enhanced. If allied heroes are on the enhanced trails of life, the damage received and dealt by all allied heroes will be reduced and increased respectively. Besides, adventurers may notice the training skills available as well. For Bell Below, if you train her well, she can help cure and buff allies in the battlefield. And for the highest training skill, when Bell Below heals allies, an additional life shield is granted to them, 
which offset damage equaling up to a certain percentage of their attack rating. If the ally suffers healing restriction or receives access healing, the duration of the light shield is extended. It can also withstand a certain number of rounds of additional damage. Thanksgiving is coming as well. We also prepared some rewards in game. Remember to log in during the event time to claim the rewards. Besides, we will pick 15 lucky adventurers and give them a thousand diamonds during Thanksgiving. So don't forget to leave your user ID along with your comment. It's already the end part of 2022, with Christmas and the New Year also coming within next month. Yeah, it's been a tough year, and I believe that happy things always happen around adventures. And we're also preparing the final fan art event of the year with some cash up to $1,000, AFK souvenirs, and diamonds as rewards. The thing will be Christmas and 2023, and you can draw any hero you like under this thing. And the official announcement will be released a few days later. So if you would like to participate in it, you can start right now. We would like to receive some wonderful and creative artwork and share some fun with other adventures. And it's a feedback time right now. The hottest feedback we have received recently is Why is AE8 ranked with no beta after such a major change and in a feature creep? Global doesn't have the tools required to test this fairly. And the answer we received is about the space between Season 8 and Season 7 since the boss and the map are almost the same, I would like to see if it would be better to reduce the gap and make sure adventurers can apply their strategy more often. And for the new maps and bosses, we'll ensure that there is enough time for adventurers to prepare it. Also, we've received the feedback from adventurers as well. We'll make sure to balance the preparing time in the future. Alright, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to leave your comments along with your user ID to get some great rewards. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye! Two, one, action! Bell Bellow from the Furry Species coming in this patch. Fluffy! <laughs> <laughs>